Did you know that 88% of millionaires worldwide are business owners? Not employees, not freelancers, but business owners. And if you're a software engineer, you're closer to joining them than almost anybody else on the planet. You just haven't been thinking about your skills the right way yet. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly why software engineers are secretly built to be some of the best entrepreneurs in the entire world, and how you can step into that reality starting right now. Let's dive in. First, let's get one thing straight. At the root of entrepreneurship is a very simple idea, creation. Creating value, creating solutions, creating opportunity. Artists are creators, writers are creators, filmmakers are creators, but engineers, you are creators with built-in leverage. Because without code, none of those other creations really even exist. Let me explain. YouTube, TikTok, Spotify, Netflix, all of it lives on code. Code gave birth to content as we know it in this day and age. And that means you, the software engineer, are standing at the root of modern creation. You don't just build stories. You build the roads that the stories traveled on. You build the bridges that the world actually moves across. And that's leverage. And that leverage is everything. But here's where the clock starts ticking. The future isn't going to reward people who simply do tasks. AI is coming for repetitive work faster than anyone predicted. The mundane stuff? Gone. Automated. Even replaced. So what's left? Well, the work that can't be automated. Creativity. Problem solving. Real world solution building. And who already thinks this way better than almost any other profession? You do. Software engineers. You already live in a world of systems thinking. Inputs, outputs, feedback loops, and optimizations. That's your natural language. That's all you've known. You're used to seeing problems, designing solutions, thinking in pseudocode, and refining systems. The same skills that built the apps and websites and platforms that everybody uses today and runs the world are the same exact skills that will build the businesses of tomorrow. But if you stay stuck thinking like an employee, none of what I'm telling you will matter because employees wait for permission. Employees wait for tasks. Employees wait for somebody else to hand them the roadmap. And entrepreneurs do the exact opposite. They hunt, they seek problems, they invent missions, they create roadmaps where none actually exist. And that's the biggest shift that you have to make. Every single day becomes a hunt for you. You have to look around and ask, where is there friction? Where is there a bottleneck? And where is there pain? And then you solve it relentlessly. Now, here's a kicker. When you make that shift, when you stop waiting for assignments and you start attacking problems head on, you unlock a second, even deeper form of leverage. Because code doesn't just create. Code actually compounds. One product, one service, one tool, one offer. Built once, delivered with skill, impacting dozens, hundreds, sometimes even thousands of people without you having to trade your time directly hour by hour in the nine to five. So whether it's a SaaS tool that automates a painful process or a high ticket service that solves a technical problem faster and better than anybody else, the model doesn't matter. The leverage does. You're not just trading hours for dollars anymore. You're trading creativity for scalability. You're designing systems, products, and services that move without you that create value even when you're not in the same room. And that's the real unlock. This is why software engineers are not just good entrepreneurs. They are literally the best entrepreneurs, period. Now look, you might be thinking, but I've never built a business before. I don't even know where to start. I don't know what problem to solve. There's so many to choose from. And good, that means you're asking the right questions. It means you're thinking the way that real creators think, the way real entrepreneurs think. Because building something meaningful doesn't start with knowing everything. It starts with paying attention. It starts with noticing the problems that others ignore. It starts with choosing to solve instead of choosing to wait. So you don't need a million dollar idea. You don't need a one problem. You need a one problem idea. One clear, painful problem that you can solve for somebody real. And if you can do that once, you can do it again and again and again. Every time you do, you build momentum, you build trust, you build freedom. And the truth is, the only way you get good at building is by building. Not by thinking about it, 
not by waiting until it feels perfect, but by starting small, solving real problems, learning fast, and adjusting even faster. Every small step forward compounds, every small win stacks, and over time, the gap between you and everyone who's still waiting gets bigger and bigger, wider and more permanent. You already have the skills, you already have the thinking, you already have the timing. The only thing left is the first move. So my challenge to you is simple. Look around today, find one real problem and ask yourself, could I fix this? Could I build something better? And if the answer is even a maybe, start. Not perfectly, not completely, just start. Because the people who build the future are the ones willing to start even when it's messy. So start when it's small, start when it's uncertain. Because if you do that, if you make that choice, you won't just be watching the future happen, you'll be actively building it.